Oh, I did mention here, yeah, 14 Kamala North, Northeast, from uh, city center to where we live. That morning, I'm supposed to go to uh, volunteer work around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Um, but I heard radio saying there's a enemy plane in the area, so I went outside and saw the bomber went through the city, and I was watching up there, and right over the city, there was a shiny thing that was still floating, coming down. And we didn't know what it was. I kept looking at it, and all of a sudden, flash, a strong flash. Well, about 38 seconds later, big boom, I heard it. And we didn't know what was going on. But anyway, I saw the mushroom, kind of pinkish red, with a kind of white smoke. And of course, the mushroom wasn't like perfect picture like you see in a book or movie. Mm -hmm. It kind of stirred. It's my cousin. Um, after bomb, my aunt went over there because they had a. a evacuation location in case something happened, emergency happened, and uh, she knew where it was, so she went out, and first day, she didn't see anybody, uh, him, and then the second day, no luck, third day, he found him lying in the assembly area, and uh, he was hurt real bad, and uh, there was no car or truck to haul him over. So Aunt put him on his, her back, carried all the way back to Gion, which is probably three miles. Uh -huh. And that's a long distance, you know, mm -hmm. carry a boy. And, and the road had all kinds of detour because bridge were down, mm -hmm. bridge were down. And there's some street you can't get through. You had to take a tour. I don't know how long it took her to get home. But anyway, uh, his son survived for three days. Sadly, he died. And then his, uh, he was only 13 and a half years old, same age as I was. And his father came home. And she had to tell him, you know, he was gone. It was a really sad story. I could, I could remember that. But anyway, their father was so, so shocked, you know, just screamed. Mm -hmm. And the neighbor heard it, mm -hmm. you know. That was a story from my aunt. Mm 